What is going on, Incarnate Nation? Welcome to a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary on the YouTube. And uh, you know what? Um, I am happy to be making this commentary for about the 10th time. I'm not kidding you. Uh, I really redid this commentary a lot because I wanted it to be perfect and I want to provide perfect content for you guys. So I want to make sure that I redid the whole thing and here I am once again doing another Call of Duty commentary. And um, you, some of you might be sick of Call of Duty but you know what? I love Call of Duty and uh, that's what I do. I play Call of Duty. I'm just kidding. I have other games that I play as well. Uh, so I'll upload some Injustice Gods Among Us gameplays uh, soon and you guys can check that out. Uh, but anyway, the topic I wanted to get into for this commentary was about loss because we all experience loss in our life, uh, whether it's a loss at a sport or loss at a video game or loss of a loved one. Uh, or maybe loss of a relationship, you never know. Uh, we all experience it uh, in life, like I said, and uh, you want to make sure you know how to handle loss uh, when it comes your way, uh, because if you don't lose at some things in life, uh, then you'll never learn from it, and you'll never come back even stronger than you were before. Uh, so you want to make sure that you understand uh, what happened and uh, why you lost and uh, you want to let go of it so that you can move forward uh, into the future and have a good life. So let's talk about loss. Uh, some of the losses I've experienced, I'll just share from a personal standpoint, are uh, the loss of my grandmother at a very young age. I was about nine years old when she passed away and that was uh, very rough. It was very uh, sudden from a heart attack. Uh, so that was uh, that kind of took a toll on me when I was young and um, also uh, speaking of a heart attack I'd just like to say uh, my uh, final uh, thoughts are with uh, James Gandolfini's family uh, we lost a great actor and uh, I'm watching The Sopranos right now I mean that's an amazing series so rest in peace James Gandolfini, Tony Soprano will never be forgotten and uh, that was also sudden and uh, very depressing. It gave me uh, a very depressing day the other day just hearing about that news so I thought I'd celebrate with uh, some uh, Italian food and some Sopranos and yes I know that is that is probably uh, not the best thing. Anyway, uh, so let's get into other parts of loss. So we have um, uh, we have loss of the video game. This actually isn't that extreme, like um, a loss of a loved one, uh, but it can piss people off, uh, believe it or not, and uh, a lot of people get mad when they play Call of Duty and they lose. Uh, they're like, damn it, why am I always losing all the time? And, and what the hell? But um, you really have to just uh, realize uh, where you went wrong, maybe you're uh, camping in the corner like I am here. Uh, and also, I just wanted to mention that I taught my team a lesson in this gameplay by not winning uh, with the objective uh, because I wanted my team to lose when we got like 3-0 and uh, just because it's really stupid that they really didn't uh, put enough effort into uh, at least getting one uh, bomb planted or anything. It was just stupid on their part. So I was like, you know what, teammates, screw you, and uh, we're not going to uh, even try for it. I'm going to screw us over because you're all dead anyway and the last one alive. So I taught them a big lesson in loss, and I hope you guys got something out of this commentary as well. Um, there's also uh, losses uh, of like uh, sports teams or uh, like fighting events. You have to make sure uh, when you lose at anything, you have to come back from it even stronger. For an example, um, one time uh, we lost uh, a grade 6 basketball game and then the next week uh, we totally destroyed uh, the other uh, middle school that we were facing. So uh, it was uh, pretty pretty enjoyable to uh, learn from our losses and uh, come back with a nice victory. That's just what you have to do. Uh, you have to overcome things and you have to come back from a loss. And um, also uh, another 
thing too is uh, with uh, failures don't be afraid to fail uh, because a lot of people fail uh, all the time it's all around you and some of the failures actually lead to more success in the future so if you're afraid to fail uh, then you're afraid to live your life and don't be afraid to live your life uh, you are gonna fail uh, obviously um, so you gotta just come back from it and stay strong and uh, you know what push through it all uh, push through all the haters uh, like I did for my channel I mean I had a channel that was uh, at 50 something subscribers and uh, the first montage I made was a complete fail I mean and I came back from that so uh, if I came back from that and I made this channel uh, look at the success I have today uh, and there's so many other things I've overcome in, even in the past year it's not even uh, funny so uh, if you guys can uh, learn from your losses like I said and overcome them then uh, you'll be even stronger than you were uh, before uh, the actual loss itself as for a uh, loss in like a relationship uh, just like forget about it focus on you uh, because at the end of the day uh, you're all that really matters uh, so with that other person uh, let them feel their own shit and uh, you can deal with your own shit um, uh, just like Drake's song uh, I'm a worry about me and care less about you sort of thing anyway thank you for watching the video I'll see you in the next uh, video don't forget to please subscribe and leave a like if you like the video peace out guys and I'll see you later